Um, so, <laughs> Big Brother's Big Mouth, whatever, it's on E4, and it's, they have experts on, uh, sociologists, uh, psychologists, psychiatrists, and they provide um, expert insight into and expert analysis of the phenomena of some twats in a place. <laughs> and this programme was hosted by Russell Brand, and what it meant when the bad racism happened, it meant that Russell Brand was contractually obliged to look meaningfully into the camera, <laughs> making a serious face, and to condemn racism in the strongest terms possible. Whilst dressed as a cartoon pirate. <laughs> Before going back to his ongoing life's work of thinking up cutesy, diminutive Mr. Men names for his own penis. <laughs> Mr. Winky. Mr. Dinky, Mr. Dingle Donkey, Dinky, Winky Wookie Woo, Wah, nah. And the way that Russell Brand thinks up cutesy, diminutive Mr. Men names for his own penis makes him sound like a child molester who is trying to convince himself to allow himself to molest himself. And when Martin Luther King saw racism in 1960s America, Martin Luther King called it out in the strongest, most visionary, eloquent terms possible. Martin Luther King said, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the colour of their skin, but by the content of their character. Martin Luther King. And when Russell Brand saw... <laughs> Racism in his place of work, yeah, Big Brother. Russell Brand said, Ooh. <laughs> There's been some bad racism and stuff going down today. <laughs> and no mistake. <laughs> My liege. It's made Mr. Winky go right small, it has. <laughs> oh, yes, it has. Oh, yeah. And my ball bag... My old ball bag... has only gone up my bum. Here's H from Steps. Oh. 